be weird. Um, yeah, I would absolutely do it again. Oh, you don't have... Okay, so you're just going to fly through just because you don't have a stop sign? Yes, I would do reality TV again, actually. Um, I did a... My friend and I have an incredible um, teaser. Um, we did a sizzle for an, um, a really dope reality TV show. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, we'll see how that goes. What's up, Thick Swaggo? We'll do Miss Sweet Peaches. Just because I love that name. That, that, that handle is dope. Um, makes me think a cobbler. <laughs> um, yeah, I would. And so, um, but it definitely, you know, I would EP it. I had a lot of inspiration. Um, from the, from the woman that um, did R&B Divas who came up with that idea, Nikki Gilbert. Shout out and congratulations to her on all her new endeavors. Um, it's always great to see my sisters doing well. And shout out to my girl Selena all day. I hope everybody's tuning in to um, Sister Circle. Um, I love it. And um, it's good to see us on, on television being represented. Shout out to all the reality stars out there. My faves, like, <laughs> I got some faves, and it's hilarious. Anybody else watch, um, I can't remember, damn it, I can't remember the name now, Haunted? Oh, man, I can't remember, but they had the best cast, like, for the first season. I thought it was amazing. I can't, I can't remember, the, I'm terrible, I can't remember the, the name of it. Anybody remember the name? Thank you. Anybody remember? My daughter's doing great. She gave me three grandchildren. I'm a grandmother three times, um now but anybody remember the um they just it came on after i think love and hip-hop atlanta went off and they have they have to do all the they, they're in a haunted house in savannah and the safari was on it even marcel um oh my gosh homegirl from mob wise who i like um uh everybody remember Hey, Dan Jones. Hi, Buki. Hey, Niecy Pooh, Shannon. Yeah, she popping them out, honey. She want all her nails before... Uh, her nails, look. Thank you, Sergeant Ward. She wants all her... She wants to have her children before 30. And then just raise them together. They're actually stair steps. So, my, my oldest, Caleb, he just turned... Um, our oldest, excuse me. Our oldest, Caleb, just turned three on valentine's day ivania the middle girl the only girl she is one and a half she'll be two august 21st and gabriel he um he was born october 26th so yeah scared famous yes yes nw nyw4 thank you thank you yeah that part that was so funny I thought that was great. Hey, D, I miss you, Pumpkin. Come on now. Yeah, I need to. We need to talk, boo. I gotta hit you with my new number. It's just terrible. I know. I'll be changing numbers like something wrong with me. But sometimes, you know, sometimes I just call for that shit. Like, you can feel it. Oh, but you shut up, girl. You ain't 18 years old. So I feel it. Oh, if you don't sit down somewhere. Thank you, Diamond Plus Model. I appreciate that. Thank you. So, yeah. Everybody taking care of themselves out there? Who is the Weave King? What are you laughing at, Weave King? <laughs> yeah, I don't know who won Scare Famous either. You better go, um, Wendy. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, she got me together. Shannon, I didn't know you were 21. What, where have I been? Yeah, I'm working. I'm working. I got more music than, than <laughs> recorded than a little bit. I need to get, I need to get it out so you guys can, can enjoy it. Um... You know, I gotta wait on. I gotta wait on the time, and I can't even. You know, at, at this point, I that's that's really none of my business. But um, I know I'm just being obedient. 
Um, at first, it was a lot of trepidation about putting my music out. And, it, you know, I think I was too concerned with how it would be received. And, you know, really, that's none of my business. When I put out one moment, it was received very well. And um, I guess the people that needed to hear it and know it and love it did. And just changing my perspective on this this business of music um, and realize that I have to, it's, you know, music is one of my ministries and I just need to, I need to share it and the rest to take care of itself. So I, that's, with that being said, I am recording and, um, but that means, you know, it is still a music business. I just don't want it to just go out and do nothing. I have to, um, be in business with the, with the right people, um, or get the right backing. Um, I am self-sufficient, dependent, and you know, that's a little rough sometimes, but, but you know what? There's a, there's a, there's a great sense of, um, pride about that. And, um, and you know, I'm learning some things that I need to re relearn. I'm being reminded of some things I need to relearn. I need, you know, the discipline and, you know, putting in, you know, you get, get out what you put in. So, that's where I am. Real talk. And um it's it's working and I'm I'm not mad. <laughs> well, you know, I've been blessed. I had I did that tour in October, which was awesome and that that put a lot of fire under me. You know, and it put a, it, it actually put a lot of uh, a newfound um a newfound uh little spark, you know what I'm saying that I needed. I didn't even realize it. Yo, can I share this with you? So I did this show in the, this club for this this guy. He hired me to come do a song. And and um, as he was introducing me, he was like hype. You know, I, and I appreciated that. You know, he was calling me all kind of legends and icons and whatever. And I get it. And it's that's cool. And it's, you know, wonderful. But this, mo this, this little nigga said, oh, excuse me. This little king said, he called me retro. Yo, I thought I was going to die. I thought that was the funniest shit. I was like, I didn't know that people could be retro. I was like, last time I checked, I was still growing. And, you know, I'm, I'm my birthday just passed. So I was, I, I was like, these little, and he's not really a millennial. But, you know, I was like, I was like, I thought only things and, and you know, Pete, um, um, intangible and, 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 you know, things only tangible things could be retro. I was like, I thought that shit was hilarious. <laughs> yes, he did. Siobhan, where are you? Like, on what pla what's happening in real? No, I'm not still in LA. And why didn't you DM me? Like, you're, you're a little weird because you never, ever, you'll reach out and then talk about, am I still in LA? You know damn well I ain't still in LA. Where are you? It would be really nice to see you. Finally. Hope all is well, sweetheart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, yeah, disrespectful, babe. Love is here. That's <laughs> but he wasn't trying to be. I was just like, no, I know people can't be retro. No, no, not ready. <laughs> In my Kevin Hart voice. That shit was hilarious. Hi, Regina. 100. Be quiet, Shannon. Dalia laughing. <laughs> Thank you, natural lady. Natural, eighty. Natural. See, I can't. I, I be don't. Natural DLT. Kimber Douglas. How are you, sweetheart? Hi, Dallas. Two fifteen. Hi. Ian, the core junkie. Hey, hey, sweetie. He tried it right. <laughs> Honest truth. I think bringing back R&B Divas with a new cast would be awesome. You know what I'm saying? I think we should just keep it going. Because there's so many, you know, women out there that have graced and, and given us great music that may not, you know, maybe do on, you know, doing something else or that, you know, needs to be seen. I think that, you know, the cast that was there before, you know, we started it. We were the inaugural. We, we jump-started it. And that I feel, feel so blessed to be a part of it. But it's definitely time to do something, you know, for me, it, you know, I'm just keep it on me to move, you know, to keep it moving. Okay, so why weren't you at, um, then? Why weren't you at, um, you know what I'm talking about. 
You know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't play with me. You wasn't at the thing I did with, with, with Kendrick. Why, where was you at then? Hmm. I'll wait. Thank you, I'm the core junkie. Regina 100, I just, my daughter's doing great. She is raising her children and married and living in West, living in Florida. <laughs> so, yeah. What's Duval, Queen Bri? Queen Bri? I, that, no work. You ain't answer my question, Den. You ain't answer my question. Well, just now when I did salsa con fuego, I, uh, <laughs> I I just hosted, so you didn't really miss any. Hey, Joe, you didn't really miss anything, sexy songbird. I hear that worker. You gotta get them coins. That yeah, uh, I don't care who's what. If you gotta work, you gotta work. Hey, Mo. Hi, Bella. <laughs> well, I never did a house album, but I did have a house remix on my single one moment. Yeah, sexy song, but I need you to get, get it together so you can. <laughs> Hi, Davy. Oh my god, this traffic. Okay, they're gonna have to pay me in two seconds if I keep holding up this damn coffee. <laughs> I can't wait to see your birthday, too. Oh, thank you, Shannon. Make sure you... I gotta send you my, my email and stuff. Thank you, Vinyl Dolphin. Well, I don't have any new, 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 little new music out right now, sweetheart. Dallas, um, I don't know what that, I don't know what that question is, Jasmine Jones, hi, Monifa, what's your daughter of, or is that asking too much, I don't, I don't know what that means, it's probably a typo, but feel free to ask again and I'll let you know if it's too much, <laughs> yeah, exactly, you see me, right, you can't really, Sometimes I swear I need a moment just all to myself without a cause or reason. Sometimes a girl can get upset from dealing with all life's pressures. If you're supposed to be my friend, then just understand it. <laughs> God is good, honey. for you, Dallas. M is peaches. M <laughs> Thank you, Bella. Oh, what's her IG? Well, um, why? <laughs> so, I'll let you do the work. Hey, Nino Boo or Nini ni, ni Boo. Nini Boo. Hi, Boo. Thank you. It is. That's why I said thank you, God, after I finish, because, baby. Yeah, that verse is deep. Shout out to Quinnell Worthy. Quinnell Worthy produced a lot of the music that you guys are going to hear very soon. He's an amazing producer and writer. He wrote um, One Moment. Um, his girlfriend inspired that record, something she was going through at the time, and he put it to words, and I thought it was so beautiful. It just really spoke to what I was dealing with, how I felt. Um, and to, you know, to think that a, a male, and not saying that men can't relate or, you know, that's very, you know, what one moment is about is very universal, but it was done with such, um, I don't know, it had so much nurturing in it and, and it just, it, you know, it's just, um, incredible that a gentleman wrote that. Like, I love that. I 
where Lonnie be? I'm trying to meet him. Oh, out of the limb. Oh, child. My God. Don't play. You know Tina's my girl. I'm about to do a tribute to her in April. And then I'm, I act like I don't know I'm coming through it. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, I just trying to get it straight. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Have a good one.